Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. How To. Here in this video, I'm taking down old track lighting and putting up new. My wife and I decided that we were going to do just a light kitchen facelift. We did new countertops, we put new handles on the cabinets, new pulls. We decided on some new lighting. And so this video here, I just did a time lapse. This is the first time ever that I've put track lighting in. I've been doing commercial and residential remodeling off and on for probably about almost the last 20 years. I've done it full time, then I've taken breaks and went back to it. And now I just do it on the side. But this was the first time I had ever done some track lighting. And the nice thing about track lighting is that you can you can put these bars pretty much in about any direction you want. If you do put them on like a 45 degree angle from the rafters, you have to get a special plate for when you go to put the finish cap on. Uh, it's got to be able to cross into some holes. So, But we bought everything from Menards. We bought two eight foot bars. Then here, what you see me doing, I'm converting cutting all these lights down these lights were six feet long and they needed to be roughly like about nine inches the wire did so quite a bit got cut out of it but uh, that way they hang the bottom of the bulb hangs at like six feet four inches so uh, nobody will ever run into them well they shouldn't anyways plus it's over that first one there that's gone that's right over the island and so now these old track lights were probably, I don't know, they could be as little as maybe 10 or 15 years old, or they could be original back when the house was built in 99, but no matter what, it was time to come down. You can't see it in the video, but there the plastic was starting to kind of discolor, um, and also they, they were halogen, so you turn them on for a few minutes and they're like just smoking hot. And so we converted everything over to LED. And so that's a lot more energy efficient. Now the new ones, when you turn them on, you can leave them on for an hour and put your hand right on the bulb. You'll see at the end of the video here, it's like a Edison style bulb that we put in. They're, they're LED is what they are, but they're Edison style. So really cool, really nice bulbs. They're nice and bright. Um, now right here, I'm putting toggle bolts in. That bar is really easy to hang. All you do is just put it up on the ceiling, mark your holes. This one, this is an eight footer. It had three holes. You mark your holes with a pencil, take it back down, just drill your holes, put your toggle bolts through, and then you're going to push the whole bar, the toggle bolts right through the holes, and then it'll suspend in midair. And then all you got to do is just tighten up those toggle bolts with a drill or by hand, doesn't matter. But once you do that, you got your bar in, and then all you got to do is just wire it. These are very easy to install. First one I've ever done. I've never ever messed with track lighting. I read the directions, and that was it. Pretty easy to put in. So track lighting is a good thing to consider. If you want to get lights in an area where you don't want to drill a bunch of holes and run a bunch of wire and put recessed lights in or something like that, you just want to very easily add some light somewhere, track lighting, this is the way to do it. This is 100% the way to go. Another thing I like with track lighting is you can put the lights wherever you want along that bar. It doesn't have to go in a certain spot on the bar. You can put one six inches away from another. You can put them a foot apart. You can do two feet apart. Doesn't really matter. And so that's, that's a really nice convenient thing with these lights. Now with this one here, just pop the second one off. Now these new bars and lights are from the same exact manufacturer. So I was actually able to leave that cap there on the outlet. It's the same exact cap that was in the box. And so I put these in and it really, really just made the kitchen a lot brighter, which made it nice. So, um, but definitely consider track lighting if you're thinking about updating some lights. We had got these from Menards. This is uns this video is not sponsored by anybody. I bought these, all these lights myself, put them in myself. Nobody's paid me anything, but um, I, for the two bars, the four lights on the one, and then the two lights on this other, I think it was $233. And I bought all of these 
uh, in the winter of 2024. So in case you're watching this years later, but um, and there's the those are LED there also those lights. So, but really easy to put in. I time lapsed all of this, but the whole I think each one took roughly about an hour from not maybe not even taking the old light down, putting the new one up, marking the holes, drilling them and getting everything done and finished. So definitely consider track lighting for your next project if it's something that you're thinking about. Very easy to put in, and you can add lights anywhere.